Welcome to the demonstration of room booking system. This system allows the users to book rooms online. The admin can view the bookings and even get the status of his rooms. The users can even check the availability of rooms. So the user doesn't have to travel to the hotel to the online booking. So the users can book the rooms online via the system. This application is developed using ASP.NET as front end and SQL Server as back end. So now let's have a look into the system. This is the admin module. Just enter the ID and password. Once you log in into the system as an admin, these are the options available for the admin. That is view bookings, view customers and log. So if you want to view the booking of any room, just click on view bookings. So the information will be displayed regarding that room. That is a booking ID. That is a from and to date room booked. That is number of rooms booked one and the room number is one. The payment status is not paid and whichever plan is selected by the user will be displayed. Suppose I want to view booking for this room. So the message is shown there are no bookings for this room. The next one is view customers. Here you can view the details of the of the customers who have registered into the system and if you want to search anyone then just enter the name of the user of the customer and then click on search so all the details of that of that customer will be displayed over here so this is all about the admin module the next one is the customer module just enter the id and password Once you log in into the system, the user logs in as soon as these are the options available and it can view all the details and if we want to update the detail, it can do so. For example, if we want to change to, so just click on update, the information will be updated. So the next option is book room. So the your the ID will be gen, uh, will be automatically generated by the system, and then you just need to select the from and to date. And then the next is number of rooms to book. For example, if I want to book only one room, then click on search. So here you can see the, uh, the rooms which are already booked, that particular button is in red color. That means that those rooms are already booked. So if I want to select room number 2, just click on that. And I can even deselect the room, if I suppose I don't want to select this room. Just deselect it and say I'll go for room number 4. Then just click on book. So these are the plans available. You can book any one you want. For example, I've selected the second plan and then just enter the number of people. For example, say I want to book for two. So the total charges will be displayed over here. If you want to make the payment, just click on pay and enter the following details. The customer ID will be, uh, will be generated automatically by the system. And you just need to enter the following information. Name on the card. And say this. Enter the expiry date of the card. And this is the total charges. And this is the booking charges. If you want to make the payment and view the bill, then just click on pay. So once you click on pay, the following bill will be generated with the following information. Bill number and the customer details, that is name, address, contact number, the number of people and the number of rooms, that is one and the plan number two selected. So the cost and the total cost will be displayed on the bill. And if you want to go for printing, then just click on print. From here, you can print the bill. So this is all about how the room booking system works. Thank you.